Hello, Dr. Markle of Centennial Schultz Clinic. Today we're talking about avascular necrosis in the shoulder. Now, recap, avascular necrosis is essentially lack of blood flow eventually resulting in necrosis or dying of the bone. And this happens in multiple joints, and today we're talking specifically about the shoulder. So, talking about AVN in the shoulder, patients uh, typically come up with two main questions. Number one, can this heal on its own? And if not, how long or how fast will this progress? Now we classify AVN in multiple different stages. Number one, we have stage one, uh, where it's very normal x-ray. Usually, typically, someone just has pain with activity. Two is the bone itself continues to deteriorate. Then we start getting some changes on your x-ray. Number three, as that lack of blood flow to the bone progresses, we getting a what we call a crescent shaped lesion in the bone and we start changing some of the architecture of the joint. Stage four and stage five is when we start losing um, full architecture where we have collapse or flattening of the joint surface. That flattening of the joint surface essentially leads to severe degeneration or our secondary arthritis of the joint. Now, how fast will this progress? For each individual, it can be extremely different. Uh, it could pro progress over a number of months, it could progress over a number of years. Typically at the time of diagnosis, if someone is symptomatic, the chances of it progressing over a three year period is probably in the 85-90% range. If someone is asymptomatic, meaning this was found just by chance um, for a different reason, uh, someone has a chance of progression of uh, probably about 65%. And that progression looks like this, where initially you have some mild changes on the x-ray. Typically, symptoms are very mild. As we progress, here's that crescent-shaped lesion. And on the bottom right, uh, total destruction of the joint. Is AVN of the shoulder serious? Uh, in one word, yes. Uh, it's extremely serious uh, from the perspective of a joint preservation. Now. The early we are able to identify this, the quicker we are able to uh, identify some of the causes of the AVN, remove those causes, and hopefully stop the progression. And if we treat this early enough, the goal is joint preservation so we can avoid the need for a total joint replacement. So what is the best treatment for avascular necrosis of the shoulder? If we look at the last 15 to 20 years from a research standpoint, there's been two main treatments that have become more standard of care. One is removal of whatever is causing the avascular necrosis, such as if it is high dose corticosteroids, stop the steroid use. Or if someone's um, consuming high amounts of alcohol, ideally uh, abstaining from alcohol use itself will ideally help stop the progression. From a treatment standpoint, um, trying to get the avascular necrosis to reverse or cure. That's why identifying early on and getting into that early uh, stage one to stage three is extremely important. From an orthopedic surgeon, they typically do what's called a core decompression where they um, take a large drill bit, go into the bone itself, and ideally try to stimulate the bone to regenerate it. Um, aside from that, a uh, less invasive option would be a bone marrow contra utilizing the repair cells in your bone marrow, concentrating them, and with a small needle injecting them directly into the lesion to stimulate your body to regenerate the blood flow, as well as try to heal the bone itself. Here's a nice progression from someone that was diagnosed from a stage three. All this area is avascular necrotic lesions. We can see the crescent shaped lesion here, but the good news is they still had preservation of the joint structure. After treatment, we can see five months we have resolution of the majority of the bone swelling. We still have a small lesion, but it hasn't progressed. And if we fast forward several years, the patient themselves is 95% improved from pain and function after two years and there's been no progression of the avascular necrosis lesion as well as the joint preservation aspects is maintained. So if you or any loved one have been dealing with any um, 
issues with avascular necrosis, especially in the shoulder, feel free to give us a call. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to us on social media, such as Instagram, Facebook, and we're always more than welcome to do telemedicine um, evaluations so we can send you imaging and we can let you know if you are a candidate for any of these advanced regenerative techniques. Have a good day.